I'm laughing real hard. I may have a little drizzle come down my leg. Like Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, it's your girl Dominique, I hope everyone is having a great day. I am here with pregnancy update video number 5. In this video, I'm going to be covering weeks 32 to 34 weeks. And basically, we are definitely in the third trimester. We're almost at the end. We're almost at the finish line. I'm so excited. And I love reading the comments down below when you guys tell me your due dates. And some of you guys have the same due date as me. Some of you guys are really, really close to me. And it's just really good to be able to have other people who are like basically going through the same thing that you're going through and be able to share your thoughts and basically what's going on with your pregnancy with each other. So I really love reading the comments and replying back to you guys. But I do want to let you guys know that this is going to be my last time making a pregnancy update video like this. I'm going to start doing them weekly. I know that's something that you guys asked for in the beginning when I first told you guys that I was pregnant. But I feel like Things wasn't like changing from week to week for me to record and post a video every week on what was going on in my pregnancy. But now I feel like I'm getting close to the end and every day is something new. <laughs> every week is something new. So I feel like I have more to share with you guys on a weekly basis. So I first want to start out with my weight. So I did not go back to the doctor until week 32. No, week 33. And that's when the doctor um, told me that I weighed 148 pounds. So my starting weight was 132 pounds. So you guys do the math. I do not feel like trying to think about that. Um, for cravings, same old, same old. Watermelon, something I eat every day. If you watch my vlogs, you definitely know I love my watermelon. Um... Week 33, I also traveled on the plane. My last time traveling on the plane being pregnant because now the doctors don't like you to travel on the plane. So that was my last time traveling. I was traveling from Seattle back home and that was a pretty tough ride. I was so uncomfortable. First of all, um, I had a layover and the first time I was squished in between two bigger man and it was just so uncomfortable they had their arms on the armrest and I'm like look I need y'all to give me some space so it was very uncomfortable for me and I usually before I was pregnant like I would usually put down the little um tray table and I'll just like put my head and rest my head on the tray table with my pillow and go to sleep my airport pillow but let me tell you guys, first of all, I lost my airport pillow in the airport. I got on the plane. I'm like, oh my goodness, like where's my pillow? And I had time to get off the plane and go look for it because I probably dropped it in the little tunnel coming to the airplane. But being pregnant, it's just like, forget it. You know, I'm comfortable right now. I do not feel like trying to get up, squeeze through these people. So I said, forget that pillow. So I was trying to like put my head down with my cover and it was just so uncomfortable because I just felt so cramped up because my stomach just sitting right here and it was just uncomfortable. I couldn't, I just could not get comfortable, okay? So if you're thinking about traveling in your third trimester, more power to you because my experience, I was just so uncomfortable on that plane. It was just horrible. And my stomach started to cramp up while I was on the plane. But other than that, it was okay. You know, I made it home safely. So that was the biggest thing. So at week 33, that was my first time going back to the doctor since week 29. And at week 29, that's when I had my glucose test. I talked about that in my last pregnancy update video. But at week 33, she basically listened to Skylar's heartbeat and just made sure everything was right she just felt my stomach measured everything and that was basically it she just did the simple routine checkup at week 34 i had a scheduled ultrasound it was basically an ultrasound at my doctor's office to check on skylar check her measurements and to see how everything 
um, what's going on with my pregnancy. It was just like an update ultrasound stuff like that so at the ultrasound Skylar um, was weighing at 34 weeks she is weighing 4 pounds and 13 ounces that is basically the estimates and I believe she was 17 and a half inches or 18 inches long so baby Skylar is growing and she said that um, she probably will get up to maybe 7 pounds not too too big which is a plus because i do not feel like pushing out a big baby like no give me a little small little healthy baby and we can chunky her up after she gets out okay i do not want no chunky baby coming out of, of me no 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 i'm still using the same pregnancy apps that i've been using from the beginning i will try to list them down below in the description box if i remember but of course you can check out some of my previous pregnancy update videos so you guys can know the pregnancy apps that i use but i basically want to tell you guys about skylar at 34 weeks and i'm going to give you guys a little show of the bump so at 34 weeks, it says that Skylar is around 18 inches long, which is on track, and weighing about 5 pounds. So according to the app, she's a little bit under the estimated weight of what she should be weighing, or I don't know. But the doctor said that 4 pounds, 13 ounces was great, so I'm going with the doctor. But the app does say at 34 weeks. The baby is probably weighing five pounds. I do love these apps though because they give you an idea of what's going on with your baby and it kind of confirms some of the symptoms that you may be feeling. Like I have been having cramping still in my legs. If you watch my previous pregnancy update videos, I catch cramps in my legs since I've been pregnant and they hurt so bad. Like I caught the worst cramp when I was in the bed. And I woke Sean up. I was like, Sean, massage my leg, massage my leg. And he's half sleep and he just just pressing on. I'm like, what are you doing? Can you massage this cramp out of my leg? So I just like moved him out the way, got out the bed, started trying to walk around and um, massage it myself and try to loosen that muscle up. Like it hurts so bad. That was the worst one so far in my pregnancy like oh my goodness that cramp hurt so bad and i think it has something to do with us walking around at the zoo we had previously went to the zoo that day and my calves had gotten a workout and they were just tight and yeah it was horrible something else that has happened during this time frame that was kind of a little weird for me um, it may be a little TMI for some of you guys, but if you're watching this and you're pregnant, thinking about getting pregnant, you're either going to go through it or you're going through it right now, is leaky bladder. Frequent urination is one, but a leaky, leaky bladder, like your bladder leaking, like, it's crazy. And what I mean by that, like, if I'm laughing real hard... I may have a little drizzle come down my leg like I know it's a little TMI but it happens and I'm not ashamed of it because I'm pregnant and that's basically my excuse I can't control it so that was weird for me I'm like what the heck like I was laughing so hard and I'm like Sean I'm getting ready to pee on myself so um that is something that I've been having to deal with when I sneeze oh my goodness when I sneeze I pee a little bit. Um, that's not all the time, but sometimes, yeah, a little pee comes out. Um, what else has happened during this time frame? I'm trying to think. I'm using the same oils on my skin. I use the bio oil, and I also use the avocado oil that I got off of Amazon. I will have those listed down below in the description box so you guys can check those out but I've talked about those previously in my update videos but let me know down below um when are you due um how many kids do you have is this your first child if you don't know this is my very first baby I'm so ready to meet her me and Sean are so excited like my whole entire family is excited his family is excited we cannot wait to meet baby Skylar. We are definitely on the countdown. Oh my goodness. 
as time gets closer to like my due date I get so like anxious and nervous and just so many mixed emotions but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the belly so currently at 34 weeks this is baby this is baby Skylar from the front from the side 34 weeks with my bet with my shirt up baby Skylar with my shirt up from the side this is baby Skylar at 34 weeks So I do feel like my stomach is definitely growing and definitely getting bigger. When I see people, they're like, you're how many weeks? Oh my goodness. I guess so many people expect me to be bigger, but I am satisfied with the size of my stomach as long as baby girl is perfectly fine in there and she's growing right on track. I am definitely fine with not having a huge, huge, huge stomach. I feel like this is big enough. For me, I know I'll probably get bigger by the end of this um, pregnancy, but currently, right now, at 34 weeks, we have six weeks left until baby Skylar gets here. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you're following me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so you guys will never miss another upload from me. If your post notifications are on, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So that is definitely a plus. So make sure those bells are on so you guys are notified. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.